Hi guys. Well, it is a hot, sticky summer afternoon. You're in mid-April here on this lovely uh, <laughs> Saturday afternoon. That would be Saturday, April 20th, 2024. My final Saturday here in Doomsday Trailer in the Sunshine State which is living up to its name today for sure before heading back to New York, baby. So, uh, I'm just going to wing this uh, chronicle of the collapse with no, uh, no little internet gizmo to cling to. So, I was just reading uh, yet another uh, doom and gloom article. This one happened to me happened to be on medium.com although you can find plenty of these more and more of these on the mainstream media and sure as hell on medium.com I, I, I the name of the author is not important and, and I'm not arguing with the person who wrote this I, I, I'm just curious guys I have a question I, I, I have been asking this question and apparently I as far as I know, I am the only person on the planet asking this question. I have never heard, as Andy the Gardener, Andy, have you ever asked this question? As far as I know, I cannot think of one other person who has ever asked this question. And as many times as I have thrown the question out there, uh, I, I've, I've never got an answer to it. Uh, so we're, we're, we're going to throw it out there again, and we're going to talk about famine. We're going to talk about famine and overshoot. And the main ingredient of overshoot being overpopulation. Uh, okay, so I just read the, 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 this very long, interesting uh, doom scrolling article on medium.com about famine. Uh, about all these different famines uh, rolling out all over the planet for, for these different reasons. And the author just said, uh, you know, basically said, I didn't pull the, these numbers out of my ass. I got these uh, n numbers uh, off of AI. So this, is, this information, I guess, coming off of, of AI looking at how many famines are there uh, right now, today, unfolding on the planet, and what are the causes of them. And I think that AI said there were five famines uh, unfolding on the planet, and the uh, author added a, a sixth one, which is Gaza. And so, looking at all of the reasons for uh, famines, for the, the according to AI, whichever one it was, I, I can't remember, I think it was Gemini is what the author said. According to the Gemini AI robot, what they were looking at over and over again, you see the words conflict conflict, otherwise known as war, uh, and, and poverty was showing up quite a bit, and climate change was, uh, I think, specifically mentioned in a couple of the famines over there in sub-Saharan Africa. That climate change was, was right out there as, as one of uh, the, 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 you know, directly hurting crop yields was the uh, was was the main culprit, and then this author was, was arguing, and, and I am not denying this uh, part of the argument that climate change is also in the wings of a lot of conflict and poverty that uh, e even if the famine did not mention did not mention climate change specifically 
if you're talking about conflict and poverty, particularly in equatorial regions, uh, you're, you're, you're probably talking somewhere in there about climate change and just plain old heat uh, and drought and all the rest of it. But the word I never saw anywhere in that article about all of these people uh, starving to death already and all, and, ha and all these people getting ready to, to starve to death. Uh, well, there's two words I never saw. Uh, of course, I never saw the word overshoot uh, anywhere. And I did not see the other O word, which is overpopulation. Nowhere mentioned uh, as the causes for famine were either overshoot or population. You will not, even AI, the, the, the most brilliant minds on the planet, which are no longer human, crunching, I guess AI just crunches all of this data, goes out and, 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 and crunches 10 million data points that a human brain would take a year to, uh, you know, to try to tabulate uh, AI can do and uh, can do that job in 30 seconds. So with all of these data points that AI is searching all over the internet for all of this uh, bean counting, never once do, uh, do you see the words overpopulation or overshoot uh, as one of the causes of, uh, of famine. And, and then uh, be, you know, a little deeper into the onion, you never see uh, overpopulation, and sure as shit, you're not going to see the word overshoot uh, behind climate change, conflict, or poverty. So, so here is the question that that I that that I have been asking, and and I'm not even gonna gonna open up a computer because I, I I just want to keep the numbers simple. Okay, we're just going to, to pick a country you hear a lot about. It was probably one of the five, I'm almost sure, Sudan. You're, you're always hearing about Sudan, uh, about some famine in, going on in Sudan. <clears throat> All right, th 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 this is my question. And, and, and again, I'm just pulling these numbers I am pulling these numbers somewhat out of my ass, but I'm doing it just for the sake of argument and illustration and question asking. Uh, so let's say, to keep the numbers easy, that today in 2024 there are 10 million people in Sudan, I'm assuming they population is a hell of a lot bigger, but, but just for ease of argument, uh, say, so there's 10 million people in Sudan today, and let's say of that 10 million, 2 million of them are facing famine, which is a kind of a euphemism for starving to death. Uh, so, 10 million people now, 2 million people of those 10 million are facing famine. 10 million times 2 million is 8 million people it, with, with all of the climate change and conflict and poverty going on in Sudan, for God's sake, there's still 8 million people. Uh, who are not facing famine. They, they might not have a, you know what I'm saying, a golden corral buffet laid out before them uh, every night, but they're not facing starvation. Eight million of the two million people in, in 2024 are not facing famine. Let's look at this. I'm going to look at those eight million. I'm not going to argue the two million. I'm looking at those eight million. So now let's back it up 
we're, we're going to back it up till the day I was born, 64 years ago. Back, back it up 64 years ago and assume that the population of Sudan is one half of what it is today is five million. So if there were five million people in Sudan instead of 10 million people, would there be two million people starving to death? Uh, so there's, there's eight million people in Sudan not starving to death. Eight million people is three million people more than five million people and so if there were five million people in Sudan my five years of college tells me that nobody would be starving because five million minus eight million is minus three million. Uh, th th this is just you know, guys, I, it, I, I only have five years of college, and I never took, I'm embarrassed to say, a, a population ecology class. I, I'm a journalism major, which, uh, you know, we just sample from all over. Never in my life took a population ecology class, ever, uh, university level. I did take logic. I made an A in it. I took math, and uh, after making an F one quarter, I got serious and made an A in it. And I took statistics in graduates, graduate level statistics, I made an A in. Honors math, I made an A in. And logic, I, I, I made an A in. So just using those three, you know, nuances and critical thinking modes without having the population ecology filter to put it through, I simply have to put all of this doom and gloom about famine being caused by climate change and conflict and poverty through logic, math, and statistics. And I come up with the answer that uh, if Sudan had a population of 5 million instead of 10 million, that nobody would be starving in Sudan. And which reaches the definition of overshoot, is when a population uh, outstrips its resources to sustain itself, uh, n namely food. And this is why, uh, you know, I'm always getting uh, myself in trouble whenever I'm talking about uh, stories like this, I talk about people who never should have been born. And I'm usually uh, since these are usually happening in Sub-Saharan Africa, I'm usually talking about Sub-Saharan Africans who never should have been born. And because I am a white male with a Southern accent, I am a racist and a eugenicist for asking the question. Now, I do realize that nobody should have been born that the human race never should have been born, that, that every human on the planet never should have been born uh, because uh, just the entire race never should have existed on the planet. So I fully understand that I never should have been born. Okay, and anybody listening to this never should have been born. But what I am talking about, I guess my definition is somebody who should never have been born 
is somebody who is born into a country that is already deep into overshoot. That if the overshoot threshold is uh, 8 billion people, that is the limits to growth. That overshoot, when you hear about the limits to growth, I understand the limits to growth. I think a lot of people uh, think of the limits to growth as a solid brick wall. Okay, which is, should be the way we look at it, but it's the limits to growth if this is a brick ceiling and you have a population in overshoot, it pushes the limits to growth. Uh, and, and, and so then it pops, it explodes, and kind of goes back down when it pops to a straight line. This is more the way that I look at it. And, and this is just my own creation out of my own doomer head. I have never seen it explained this way. This is just my reading of overshoot and limits to growth. Uh, that it, it, it's, there is such thing temporarily exceeding the limits to growth. And it is that point above the hard limits of growth when you're in overshoot. Uh, it makes kind of a, you know, kind of a bell curve. Uh, you, you, you see what I'm saying, and, and, and what, uh, what bell curve goes up uh, is going to have to come back down. So anybody born inside that bell curve after a, a country has exceeded its limits to growth or has gone into overshoot, uh, you're going to have famine. This is one of the no shit Sherlock conclusions. Uh, but, you're, but you never hear the term limits to growth. AI uh, and its millions of data points nowhere on AI's radar when they're looking at famine are they going to pick up the term limits to growth or overshoot or even overpopulation. Nobody wants to talk about people who never should have been born. Okay, someone's got to do it, so I guess it's that old racist, uh, eugenicist redneck uh, over there uh, talking out his ass at Collapse Chronicles to, to the five or six people on the planet wanting to listen to, to, to this crazy, uh, just, uh, just crazy man out there just asking a question. I guess I'm going to have to call William Reese and, and, and run. I, I can't call William Catton. He's dead. So uh, I, I guess I need to call William Reese and say, William, am I fucking crazy, brother? Or, 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 or do, do you agree with me that, that someone who is born uh, into overshoot is someone who never should have been born? And then, 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 then I can get into the whole thing uh, 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 about all of these uh, kids being born into overshoot. Like, like what the fuck uh, did their parents' economic situation look like before they brought another child uh, in, 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 into this uh, existence, this horrific existence? But anyway, the bottom line is someone who was never born can never die of starvation. <clears throat> there is one way to prevent your unborn child from dying in a famine. It is 
to keep your pecker in your pants, not let your knickers down, and don't bring a child uh, into this situation. And, and uh, what's unfolding in South Sudan or uh, Chad or Niger, wherever uh, it, it, it's unfolding, uh, I have been saying since I first went down this rabbit hole that if you want to get a snapshot of you know the trajectory of the state of this planet, what it's going to look like uh, in in 50 years, whatever, you go to sub-Saharan Africa today as this entire planet's global industrial civilization as we start hitting these limits to growth and, and going into overshoot more and more countries are, are going to start falling by the wayside and becoming failed states. You become a failed state the moment you hit the limits to growth and go into overshoot. You, you know, you can hold your hand out for handouts from other countries who have not hit their own limits to growth and gone into their own overshoot for only so long. And, 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 and uh, I, I don't think Sudan is selling wheat to Peoria. Uh, <laughs> you know, whenever you are importing, whenever the country you are living in is importing more food than you're exporting, you are in overshoot. Okay, this, this, this is some, uh, well maybe it's not fourth grade math, maybe it's uh, college uh, freshman math. A little bit of graduate level statistics in there, and, and maybe some good old fashioned logic and common horse sense. But I never hear it fucking mentioned. Nobody is mentioning it. Except me. And maybe Andy the Gardener. Uh, it, it, anyway, so come on, I want to hear some comments. Am I crazy? What is wrong with my line of reasoning? Let, let me know. If, 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 if I'm wrong about this, let me know that I am wrong and why I am wrong. Uh, I am open. Uh, I actually, uh, well, I thought I was wrong uh, a couple of times in my life, but both times I was mistaken. But anyway, uh, I think I am right that uh, my clothes are dry. Um, on this hot, sunny, windy day, uh, 20 feet from this clothesline, uh, I have my, uh, my clothes, my blue jeans, uh, drying in an electric dryer. So uh, I need to get out there and fold my laundry for the last time before I lose my washer and dryer for the next six months, which is a whole nother rant. Don't get me going on that. And uh, I got to get down to the dock for a, my last Saturday night margarita for the end times, sunset over the end times. Bye guys.